Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will explain how you can get 30 knowledge points with enchanting in less than 8 minutes and you can do that on any of your characters. There are no level requirements. All you want to have is the dragon riding mount unlocked and if possible already have all the different ranks unlocked in order to do this technique as easy as possible. But again over than that there are no requirements. This is free knowledge points and you can get all these 30 knowledge points in less than 8 minutes. So this is a new video that I will make right now on enchanting but if you like this type of videos let me know in the comments and I will make over similar videos for all the other professions. So for this specific route you want to start in the waking shore and you want to go to the scale cracker keep. Here at this exact location you will have the first treasure that will appear on your map and this treasure is the lava infused seed. So you just want to pick it up and then you want to move. After that you want to go to still in the waking shore to the dragon earth outpost. And here as you can see when you arrive you will have to find a magic broom and you just want to click on the magic broom. Then this magic broom is just going to move and you just want to follow the broom and at some point it will just stop and here it will kind of explode and you just want to get all the different crystals out of the magic room. Then after that and here I forgot to do it so I did it just after. You want to go to the ruby life shrine and more in particular to the flash frost enclave and you want to get the third chest that is this time the flash frozen scroll. So for this one it's pretty particular because basically all you want to do is go in your options control and you want to enable interact key choose an interact key and then you want to click the interact key in order to get this treasure otherwise you won't be able really to get it when you get this final treasure from the waking shore you want to make your way to the owner and planes and here you want to go directly to the ember watch at the ember watch you want to find this building that is half broken and on top of the building under the roof you will find this trainer and this trainer is going to reward you with five knowledge points when you speak with her. So after that you just want to make your way to this time another part of the honor and planes where there are different type of rares and here you just want to go and get this horn that will be or first treasure in the only treasure actually in the honor and place. After that you just want to go in the azure span. So here it's pretty easy. You just want to go straight and follow the river. And this time you want to go really really straight to get this enriched earthen shard. So as you can see it's really just close to the river and this is something you can get directly when arriving from the honor and place. Then you want to go more to the east of the Azure Span and you want to go to the Azure Archives. So here when you arrive you will have a first treasure directly on top of one of these little buildings. You just want to enter this little building where normally there is a rare that is located just next to the treasure and then directly when you arrive on the right you will be able to find this new treasure and this is the Forgotten Arcane Tomb. When you get this tome, you just want to make your way a little more east to the Azure Archives and here you will find this friendly NPC that is kind of uh, dismantled on the ground. You just want to click on him and then you will be able to spawn the NPC, you want to kill it and then you will be able to get this treasure, the faintly enchanted remains. After that, what I would recommend you to do is to simply have your Earthstone set to Valdraken, so just use your Earthstone and then you want to make your way to the tier old area of uh, Taldrasus and here just on top of this uh, building or inside this uh, building you will find the last treasure and this treasure is the fractured titanic spear. So like that normally you will have all the different treasures and all the different uh, knowledge points from this route. And then of course what you want to do is simply disenchant all these different items and then you will receive all the different knowledge points. Also what you can do is sometimes if you see one of these expedition scoot pack spawn just get it because inside you will have a chance at getting two different items that can reward you with one knowledge point each. 
So as you can see, this is in total 30 more knowledge points that we were able to get in less than 8 minutes. So I would highly recommend you to do that if you haven't done so yet. And keep in mind again that you can also get some extra knowledge points just by picking up the different expedition uh, scout packs. And this is something that works every week. So this is really something that is normally doable on any of your characters. Uh, just in case what I did, I just made sure to have unlocked the specializations with enchanting before doing this route. I don't know if you can do it even if you haven't yet uh, unlock the specializations but that's something i prefer to do just in case so anyway that's going to be pretty much it for today's video i will be back very soon with more guides and more videos and in the meantime i wish you all a great weekend bye